Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Alfie and in today's video I will show you guys another super useful trick how to control your mix without being in an expensive recording studio. Everything what you need for this is to have three plugins, two of which I have already reviewed in the previous video. Today we are going to talk about the third very important plugin for the master channel which really helps to control the mix. This plugin is called Abbey Road Studio 3 by Waves. So, this plugin is not new, but I discovered it for myself quite recently. It was a real insight for me, as it turned out that this plugin really works and gives very good mixing results. And now I constantly use it in music production along with Reference 4 and Can Opener Studio 3, just switching between it. I empirically came to the conclusion that if the music sounds equally good through these plugins and through monitors, it will sound good on any playback device. When working in conjunction with these three plugins, you can produce music from anywhere in the world, just by having your laptop and headphones with you. But let's get back to talking about Abbey Road Studio 3 and see what this plugin is all about. There is a scroll wheel for the entire studio. Just check this out guys, it's really cool. You can also adjust the rotation of the virtual head using your webcam. The reset to zero button immediately returns you to the starting position. This is the volume knob, and I believe that everything is clear with it. You can increase the headroom if the sound gets too loud when using the plugin. Below is the menu for calibrating your camera. Personally, I don't use this feature because I don't want to overload my CPU. The scroll wheel is just enough for me. To the right, we see a very important headphone calibration menu. The list of models is not very impressive compared to the same Reference 4 plugin, but the main models are presented. Waves company went even further and offered us to measure our heads and enter the readings in the appropriate windows for more realism. There is even a recommendation on how to do it correctly. You can also return to the basic settings. Let's hear how this plugin works. I will use one of my old songs. First, let's listen to the phonogram without processing. Next, let's play the song and listen to the first line of monitors. In general, this is amazing. When you turn on the plugin, you get the feeling of the sound source, and when you turn your head or scroll wheel, it seems that you are actually sitting in the studio. You sort of hear the left and right monitors in different proportions with binaural effect. So, let's listen to the midfield emulation. on the walls cushions 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 on the
I happened to be in a large studio, where there were also three lines of monitors, and I must say that the sound is very similar. This midfield mode is pretty well for low mids control. The plugin boosts muddiness and boxiness, which is useful for further correcting these very important frequencies. Now it's time to listen the far mode. very realistic. The emulation is really decent. And by the way, I really like the far mode, because it is exactly this mode that shows very well how professionally the song is mixed. If the music is mixed so-so, then in this mode the problems will be here the most. It's pretty interesting technology behind this plugin, and I like it very much. But remember, friends, that this is just an emulation, so I do not recommend binding only to it alone. You cannot change the impulse response of your headphones. You have to understand the purpose of these plugins. It's just a very good reference. So trust your ears, test your music for alternative sound sources. Use other emulation plugins, such as Reference 4 and Can Opener Studio 3. Try different combinations of these plugins. And don't forget to compare the sound with your favorite reference tracks, both with and without these plugins. This way you can minimize the number of mistakes when mixing your music. In general, I'm very curious to compare the same song mixed with and without using the plugins for adjusting the frequency response and studio emulations. I believe that in the nearest future I will record a similar video and we will make final conclusions about these technologies. But for now, I can say that it works for me personally. I also hope my tips are useful for you guys. If it is, just press subscribe button and like the video. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and have a great week!